comes a time in every relationship where the fundamental imbalances in the relationship have to be addressed or it's just going to fall apart. So we've reached that point in the relationship between me and the YouTube audience, you guys, you. For the last nine years, I've been posting videos with the very best transcendental wisdom and knowledge available on the planet, as far as I can tell. And to date, only one viewer has rendered any significant positive service in return. See, anytime you receive knowledge from someone, you become obligated. It's karma. You got something valuable. Did you repay it? No? Then you're in debt. Now, personally, I don't like debt. I strive very hard to keep myself out of debt. Like the other day, I forgot to bring cash, <laughs> enough cash to the grocer. And so I had to have a tab of like 400 rupees. It's not really that much, but it still bugged me. So I came home, I got 400 rupees and I went back and paid him. And he said, you don't have to pay me. Wait till next time. And I said, you don't understand. I don't like to be in debt. So I pay you at first opportunity. Let me give you another example, more to the point. When I was introduced by my Raga Guru, Ali Akbar Khan, to my Adi Guru, my Sat Guru, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. He gave me a collection of his books. I went home and started reading these books and I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't put them down. It was such a rich trevor, treasure trove of knowledge, immense beyond my imagination. that I instantly became obligated to him. And I knew that, I could feel it. That this guru has given me so much knowledge beyond my wildest dreams. Now I have to pay him back. Otherwise, I have a karmic debt. I knew it. I didn't have to read it anywhere. I didn't have to have anybody tell me. I could feel it. Because I don't like to be in debt. I've never gone in debt my whole life. I think one time I got a credit card. Oh man, what a botheration. I paid that sucker off and cut it into pieces and threw it in the river. I never went into debt especially for a material purchase. But even spiritually, I didn't want to be in debt. I served my Adi Guru for over 25 years to cancel that debt, to pay off the balance on that debt. And I don't regret it, not one bit, because now I'm free of the debt and I also have his blessings. Because of that, I was able to go very, very high in bhakti. 
I've never really disclosed my highest realizations of bhakti because they're just beyond anybody's imagination and they're too personal. But I got very high in bhakti and that naturally revealed the next stage which was meditation, raja yoga. And then that's how my life took form. That's when I began this channel after that stage, as soon as I was free. I also got great knowledge from my Buddhist mentor, Bhikkhu Nyanananda. But he wouldn't let me serve him. So instead, I've done many, many videos based on his insights and his writings the whole Nibbana series, and, and many more, to glorify him. I've done series on Ramana Maharshi, his most famous books, and some of his less famous books, too. So this is the obligation that you have. When you approach a guru, when a guru gives you extraordinary knowledge, that you become obligated to pay it back in some way. Now, like I did with Jnanananda, the best way to pay it back is to teach others the same. But I don't see any of the listeners or watchers on this channel even doing that. What I see is that they're taking the knowledge, huh? taking the knowledge, and not giving anything back or not paying forward to others either. So what does that mean? It means you have a huge karmic debt. So given the situation in the world and the condition of society today, it's very unlikely that that debt will get paid back in this lifetime. So what it means is that in a future lifetime, you will have to pay back this debt. What would that look like? Probably means that you'd become my disciple and I would have a lot of power over you. I'll give you another example. My Adi Guru, Srila Prabhupada, once said he was at a huge festival in Golden Gate Park and he was addressing the crowd and he said, I'm so thankful that my Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, has sent you to me. So this is the understanding that <laughs> His guru, Bhakti Siddhanta, managed things in such a way that many of the people he was teaching, that he was preaching to, then in their next life took birth in the West and became disciples of his disciple because it was his desire that the uh, Bhakti movement should spread to the West. Now, I'm not asking you to believe this, uh, although if you want to <laughs> research in the scriptures, you'll find that it's true. I just get tired of quoting scripture because nobody takes it seriously. Scripture means authority. Scripture means certain knowledge. No doubt. It's impossible that it could be wrong. So when the scripture says there is a karmic tie between the guru and the disciple, between the teacher and the student, we have to take that seriously. When scripture says, for example, in the uh, Shiva Sutras, it's stated that 
if someone criticizes a faultless, liberated soul. All the bad karma from that highly evolved soul then devolves upon them. And I've seen it. I've seen in my life people who mistreated me or people who criticized me got karmic retribution even in this life. In fact, it has led me to minimize my personal relationships because it's really hard to watch people suffering because they offended me. I've mentioned this several times. A sadhu is a dangerous person because if you offend them, the karmic penalty is very severe. So don't offend, don't criticize, don't doubt a realized person because to do so is very dangerous. It can lead to an animal birth in the next life and many lives to come. So we should understand, or you should understand, <laughs> that just taking service from me in the form of these videos incurs a huge debt. And if you're not aware of that, from instinctive knowledge, instinctive wisdom. It means you're not developed enough. I always tell people that the best way to approach this work, this channel, these videos, is to begin from the beginning. And I published the index document, which there is a link to in every single video on this channel. I know, because I put it there. <laughs> The index document gives the proper order in which to view these videos. But what are people doing? Just randomly surfing, following YouTube recommendations. I can see it in the stats. If 69 something percent of the viewers on this channel are coming from YouTube recommendations. That's the wrong way to experience this channel. You should go back to the beginning following the index, which you can download from the video description here. And go from the beginning through to the end. Step by step, stage by stage, chakra by chakra, yoga by yoga, and practice everything that's in those videos. And what we get, you'll get liberation in this lifetime. <laughs> Easy. If you could practice it, if you had the proper prerequisites, you could get liberation right now. But because you have this karmic debt, you see, now this becomes an upadi. This becomes a covering. This becomes a, a weight that you have to drag around with you until you pay the debt back by service. See, but in these days, nobody wants to do service. Everybody wants something for free. So maybe the most responsible thing that I could do is to just stop making these informational videos because only, like I said, only one viewer is doing any meaningful service. A couple of years back, we tried a couple of courses. It was about a year ago, actually, on the course site. And the people were just so, I mean, they just didn't value the information. I got disgusted with it and I quit after fulfilling my obligations, of course, according to the contract, the understanding that we had, I quit, I let them all go. I closed down, I shut down the discussion group because people were causing a disturbance. 
So, of course, now those people are no longer with us. And if you would go check up on them, you would probably find that they're facing significant problems. I've seen it, the pattern that's repeated so many times in my life, and I'm tired of seeing it. So, my thinking is, maybe I should just stop doing these videos so that you don't get any further in debt than you already are, since you don't really listen to me, you don't really believe what I'm saying, you're never going to follow through and return the service that I've done for you. So that means you're going to be obligated karmically in the next life to serve me. And I know a lot more about this because I can see my situation in the next life. Of course, you can't. But, hey, that's not my problem. <laughs> Your behavior is not my problem. Your putting yourself in debt is not my problem. I'll get paid back. I know, I have certainty on that. Why? Because the scriptures say so. So if you have any ethics, if you have any integrity, if you've ever watched our series on integrity, you would know that everything I'm saying here is truth. So how are you going to respond? Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti Aum.